Hello, hello. Namaste and peace and blessings. Thank you so much for joining me here at Online Yoga School Virtual Studio Session. I hope that everyone is having a great evening as we are preparing our minds and our bodies for our yoga session here today. I ask that we use this time to gather any supplies we feel we may need for our session here today. And maybe um, grab something to drink for hydration, if that feels good for you. And once we gather our supplies, may we find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose, any easy seat of choice. I am sitting in a half lotus. May you find any easy seat that feels good for you. As we are using our easy seat to help ground and center our mind and our bodies here today, with our tummies nice and tight, nice and tight at our navel, at our belly button, squeezing in nice and tight down there. Spinal cord is nice and elongated, meaning we are not sunken. We have control of that spine. Shoulders are relaxed downward away from our ears. As we take a nice deep intentional breath in, Exhale. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. Maybe taking a moment to notice how the breath feels within the body. As we breathe our hands at heart center, coming into a seated prayer, maybe breathing our thumbs inward towards our sternum, the center of our chest as we are gazed downward or our eyes are closed, as we are going inward, taking a moment to simply check in with self, noticing how we are feeling right here, right now at this present moment, without judgment, simply being aware. As we relax here in silence meditation for four natural breaths. Mm -hmm. Two more breaths. As we breathe our palms above our heads, coming into a seated salute, palms are reaching up towards the heavens with our palms together. We are in that salute, interlacing our fingers with our pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens. Heart chakras open, chin is slightly up. As we allow our arms to slightly flow towards the back, feeling this slight back bend here. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into center with our palms interlaced, with our palms together. We're going to lean our bodies towards the right, coming into a seated crescent moon. Slightly gazing up at the heavens. Opening up our heart chakra, three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into center. Crescent moon opposite side. Fill in that side bend here. Gazing up at the heavens. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center. As we separate our palms, we are in our seated extended mountain. Palms are separated. Noticing how this feels. As we are sitting in our seated pose, we are rooted within our environment. As we are channeling in any positivity and hope that we may need in our lives. May we channel in anything that is needed to help take us to the next level of our lives. Simply gazing our eyes down or closing our eyes and welcoming in whatever is serving for us. Three breaths. Two breaths. Breathe in. Exhale. Separating our palms a little more, coming into a seated star. So we are in our seated star with our palms slightly outward towards the side. As we twist our bodies towards the right, relaxing our palms downward towards the earth as we gaze over that right shoulder. We are in our seated twist. 
Relaxing and soothing our spine here. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale and back to center. Come into that seated star. Palms are off to the side. Heart chakra is open. Chin is slightly up. Twisting our bodies towards the left. Palms come downward towards the earth as we gaze over that left shoulder. Soothing and relaxing our spine here. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, coming into that star as we flow to our salute. Breathe down to prayer, bringing our palms to our heart center, relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears. Tummies tight, spinal cords nice and long as we are planted and centered. Two breaths. Breathe in, exhale, feeling that body relax. As we find our bodies in a bound position, we're going to bend our feet together at the bottoms. We're going to flow into a diamond or a butterfly pose. In our diamond, our feet are further away from our bodies. And in our butterfly, our feet are closer towards our bodies. This is a hip opener. So taking a moment to notice which pose feels best for you, either the diamond or the butterfly, and doing what feels best for you and your body at this present moment. As we open up our heart chakra, meaning our spinal cord is nice and long, heart chakra is open. Our chin is slightly up. This works on our posture. And maybe we can allow our head to flow slightly between our shoulder blades. Finding our body in a seated cow Two breaths. Exhale into cats, bringing our chin towards our clavicle. Spinal cord goes to the back of the room. We are now in our cat pose. Tummy's nice and tight. Feeling that squeeze at our navel, at our belly button. Two breaths. Exhaling back to cow. Blow into cat. Breathing our palms at heart center, coming into that prayer as we slightly hinge at the hips. We are in our down position, prayer hands as we are hinged. Now, noticing that when we bring our body slightly forward towards our feet, we go deeper into that hip flexor. We are going deep. So only going down as much as your body allows you to comfortably go. We don't want to cause any pain or discomfort to the body. As we relax our palms downward towards our feet, and maybe we can lower our head downward towards the earth. Allowing those shoulder blades to melt forward. Tummies tight, four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center. We are back in that bow position as we flow to our cow. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to our diamond or our butterfly. As we use our hands to bring our legs inward, we're going to straighten out our legs coming into a staff pose. Legs are parallel side by side. As we breathe our palms above our heads coming into a salute. Exhale to prayer. As we slightly hinge at our hips, we are in that seated half forward fold. And noticing how this feels behind our legs and our hamstrings. As we gaze forward, closing our eyes, if that feels good for us. Two breaths. Exhaling down to a complete forward fold, allowing the torso to come closer towards the thighs. Allowing the head to relax downward towards the knees. Reaching the hands downward towards the ankles or the feet. This is a full body stretch. We're going to hang out here for four breaths. Two 
two more breaths. Exhale into center. Coming up to that staff pose, as we breathe that right leg up in the air, right foot is flat on the earth, knee is in the air, we're going to work on our stage and reaching here. We're gonna take this right arm, lift it up in the air, lean our bodies towards the left, lean forward, slightly lower that arm, as we wrap this right arm around our right leg. We are in our sage Marici here. Hmm. Now we can hang out here in this pose if this feels good. We can also breathe that left leg inward and we are still in our sage Marici. We can also keep that leg straight or have our leg bent as we wrap this left arm around our backs, interlacing our right and left fingertips. Now we are going deeper into this stretch here. With our heart chakra open, chin is up. We are in our Sage Marici one. Four breaths. Two breaths. As we slightly hinge at the hips, our torso comes downward towards our thigh allowing our head to relax downward towards our knee. Noticing how this feels. This is a Sage Marici two. So maybe hang out here in the Sage Marici two, if that feels good for you, for four breaths. Two more breaths. As we slowly uninterlace those fingers, we're going to unwrap that leg, coming into our staff pose, breathing our palms at heart center, hinging at the hips, coming into that seated forward fold or half forward fold, whatever feels good for you. I'm gonna flow into a complete forward fold, filling that full body stretch, four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into half, coming back up to our staff pose. As we take our left leg, breathing our left knee in the air, left foot is flat on the earth. And we're gonna come on to that Sage Narici opposite side, taking that left arm, reaching it up in the air, leaning the body towards the right, leaning forward, lowering that arm downward as we wrap this left arm around that left leg. We are in that Sage Narici. Keeping in mind that we can keep our legs straight, we can bend that right leg inwards. Either or our stage Marichis, whatever feels best for you. And if we choose, this is an option. We can take this right arm and wrap it around our backs, interlacing our right and left fingertips with our heart chakra open and our chin up, four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale, hinging at the hips, allowing our head to relax downward towards our knee. We are in our stage, Marici two, four breaths. Slightly coming up to stage Marici one, as we uninterlace our fingers, we're gonna unwrap that thigh, that leg, straightening it out, coming into that staff pose as we breathe our palms up to our salute, interlacing our fingers, point your fingers pointing up towards the heavens, heart chakras open, chin is up, allowing the arms to slightly flow towards the back. Exhaling back to salute, breathing down to prayer. Exhaling to half, seated fold as we flow to our complete forward fold. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into half forward fold. Come into that staff pose as we widen our legs, breathing our legs apart, coming nice and wide. As wide as you are able to come 
and feeling nice and comfortable in this pose. As we reach our right hand down to our right ankle, our left hand down to our left ankle and slightly hinge at the hips. Allowing that torso to come downward towards the earth, allowing the head, the forehead to relax downward towards the earth. Feeling this behind our legs and our hamstrings here. Four breaths. Wide angled seated forward bend. Two more breaths. Exhaling back up to center. <sighs> Relaxing the body. Allowing those shoulders to relax downward away from the ears. Tummy's nice and tight. Squeezing in at the navel. As we take this right hand, connecting our right hand to our right toes. Connecting the hands to the toes. Feeling that stretch. Allowing that torso to relax over that right thigh. Feeling that stretch. Yes, we are stretching and lengthening today. Noticing how this feels. If all feels well, we can bring our palm off to the side, placing our palm up in the air. Back of our hand is on the earth. And allow that torso to come closer towards that thigh. We are in that extended hand to toe, or our hand is on the earth, whatever feels best for you. As we reach this left hand over our head, and we're going to connect our left fingertips to our right toes now. Head relaxes downward. Revolved head to knee pose. We are going to feel this stretch and notice how it feels in our body for four breaths. Two more breaths. As we exhale our bodies back to center, heart chakras open, chin is up, tummy's tight, spinal cords nice and long, shoulders relax away from the ears, feeling this pose. Breathe in. Exhale. Two breaths. As we reach our left hand towards our left toes, connecting the left fingers to the left toes, to the left toes, allowing that torso to relax over that left thigh. Feeling this revolved stretch. And if we choose, we, we can allow our left hand with the palms up in the air, back of the hands are on the earth. And if we are able, we can reach this right hand over our head and bring the right fingertips to the left toes. <laughs> Feeling this deep body stretch here. We're also twisting and we are soothing and lengthening. Four breaths. <laughs> Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, reaching our right hand to our right ankle, reaching our left hand to our left ankle, slightly hinging at the hips, allowing that head to relax down. Three breaths. Wide angled seated forward bend. Exhaling back to center, using our hands to bring our legs inward. We are back in that staff pose, flowing to our seated prayer. Extending, um, hinging at the hips. Coming into that half forward fold as we flow to that complete forward fold. Two breaths. Exhale into half, lower back up to our staff pose. Crossing our feet at our ankles, we're going to come into a tabletop position. Our knees are hip distance apart, tummies are tight, palms are flat on the earth. As we drop our tummy down, we're going to come into a cow pose. Chin is slightly up. Allowing the head to relax between the shoulder blades. Filling this cow pose in our lumbar lower backs. Three breaths. Two breaths. 
as we flow to our cat, chin comes towards the clavicle, spinal cord goes up towards the ceiling. Two more breaths. Flow into our cow. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to our table. As we breathe our right arm up in the air, fingertips reaches the heavens as we gaze up at our fingertips. Breathe in. Exhale, thread the needle, right arm threads through the left, heart chakra comes down towards the earth, allowing the shoulder blades to melt forward into the yoga mat. As we breathe in, exhale. Feeling the body relax and soothe here. And if we choose, we can take this left arm and wrap it around our backs here and I'll thread the needle. Or we can extend that left arm above our heads, palms flat on the earth. Four breaths. Two more breaths. As we slowly unwrap that arm, if it was wrapped, we're going to unthread that needle, coming back to our tabletop, dropping down to cow. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to our table. As we breathe our left arm up in the air, fingertips reaches the ceiling. As we gaze up at our left fingertips, breathe in. Exhale, thread the needle, left arm threads through the right, heart chakra comes downward towards the earth as we breathe in. Exhale. Allowing our shoulder blades to melt forward. And if we choose, we can take this right arm and wrap it around our backs here and our thread the needle. Or we can extend that right arm above our heads, palms flat on the earth. Four breaths. Two more breaths. As we slowly unwrap that right arm, if it was wrapped, we're going to unthread that needle, coming back to our table pose, dropping down to our cow. Exhale to cat. Lower back to table. As we push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at our feet. Pushing our torso towards our thighs, feeling that nice deep stretch. As we walk our dog by pedaling our feet, moving our legs left and right. Finding pause, we're going to shift that weight forward, coming into that high plank. Hanging out here, two breaths, tummies are tight. Exhaling down to low plank or chaturanga, hovering over the yoga mat. Two breaths. Exhale down to our sphinx pose. We are on our tummies. We are on our forearms. Shoulders are relaxed away from our ears, meaning we are not sunken. Relaxing those shoulders, having control of the body, working on that good posture here. With our chin slightly up, eyes gaze down or closed. Breathe in. Exhale. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into our baby cobra, bringing our palms next to our chest. Elbows slightly bent, pushing our torso slightly away from the earth. We are in that baby cobra. Two breaths. Exhaling up to our cobra, straightening out those elbows a little more. We are now in that cobra. Exhale into up dog, taking those thighs off the earth, 
We are now in that up dog. Chin slightly up. Exhale, down dog. Gaze on at the feet. Walking our dog as we pedal. Our feet left and right. Tummies are tight. Three breaths. Find your pause as we bring our right foot to our right hand. We are in that runner's lunge. Hanging out here as we drop down to our knees, coming into that low lunge. Hanging out here, noticing how this feels. And in our low lunge, we can hang out here if this feels best for us. Or we can lift our torso away from that thigh. Breathing our palms above our head, feeling that stretch. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling forward, framing that front foot. Taking our knee off the earth. We are back in that runner's lunge. As we straighten that front leg, flow into a pyramid. We are now in that pyramid pose. Torso relaxes over that thigh. Head relaxes downward towards the knee. Allowing those shoulder blades to melt forward. Three more breaths. Exhaling back to runner's lunge, bending that front knee. Breathe back, down dog. Tummies tight, walking out with dog by pedal on our feet. And we're gonna keep on flowing here. We're gonna find our pause as we breathe our left foot towards our left hand. Runner's lunge, opposite side. <sighs> Holding on to this pose as we drop down to our knee, coming into a low lunge. And we can hang out here in this low lunge if this feels good for us. Or we can breathe our torso slightly away from that thigh, reaching our palms above our heads, feeling that stretch. <sighs> Chin slightly up. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling forward, framing that front foot, taking our knee off the earth, coming to that runner's lunge. As we flow to that pyramid, straightening out that front knee, allowing that torso to relax over that thigh, head melts downward towards the knee. Shoulder blades melt forward. Breathe in. Exhale. Feeling that body relax. Two more breaths. Flow into that runner's lunge, slightly bending that front knee. Exhale, down dog. Gazing at the feet. Exhaling forward to high plank. Tummies are tight as we flow to our side plank. Breathing either side plank you want. Breathing that opposite arm up in the air. We are in that side plank. We can stretch our arm over our head if that feels good for us. Three more breaths. Build in strength. Exhaling back to down dog. Flow into high plank. As we side plank, opposite side, twisting that body opposite direction, opposite arm goes up in the air. Feel the next stretch. We can breathe that opposite arm over our head if that feels good for us. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale and back, coming to our down dog. Flowing on down to our forearms, coming into our dolphin pose. Buttocks is high in the air as we are gazed back at our feet. Allowing our head to completely relax. Maybe walking our torso closer towards our bodies here to feel nice and comfortable. Dolphin pose, four breaths. Maybe pulsing up and down on our tippy toes if that feels good for us. Two more breaths.
dropping down to our knees. We're going to flow into a wide-legged child's pose, allowing that torso to relax between the thighs. Buttocks comes down with, towards the heels of the feet. Forms are extended in front of us with the palms flat on the earth. Our third eye chakra, our forehead, is connected to the earth. Shoulder blades melt forward into the yoga mat. As we breathe in, exhale. Allowing that body to relax and melt forward as we are going inward here. Five breaths, silent meditation. Maybe we can flow our hands into a prayer hands, if that feels good for us. Three more breaths. Extending our arms back in front of us, palms are flat on the earth as we spine away our bodies out of this child's pose. Soothing and relaxing our spinal cord here. Three breaths. Tummies are tight. Two more breaths. Finding our pause at center, we're gonna come back to that table, dropping down to cow. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to our table as we push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at our feet. Walking our feet towards our hands, coming into a complete forward fold, allowing that torso to relax over that thigh. This complete forward fold is a full body stretch. Head melts downward. Breathe in. Exhale. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into half forward. Three breaths. Slightly gaze forward. Tummies are tight. Two more breaths. Exhaling down, complete forward fold. <laughs> Connecting our hands to our ankles or allowing our hands to relax downward towards the earth. Yogi walking our feet slightly apart if we're able. We're gonna come into a rag dial. So creating that stance here, if we choose, as we breathe our hands towards our elbows, allowing that head to relax. Rag dial pose, four breaths. And maybe we can sway, flash rock our body from side to side in our rag dial if that feels good. Noticing how we feel this behind our legs and our hamstrings. That's relaxing, smooth, and looping. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Finding our pose at center, we're gonna flow into a half forward fold. Exhaling up to our mountain pose, bringing our legs together if that feels good. We are in that mountain, palms are at our side. Hanging out here in our Tadasana. Maybe we can pedal our feet left and right, noticing how that feels. Going inward. Finding pause as we breathe our palms above our heads, coming into that salute. Mm, palms are together here. Palms are together here in our salute. As we breathe our palms apart, now we are in our extended mountain. Maybe taking a moment to notice how in our salute, our palms are together. We are in that standing salute. In our extended mountain, our palms are separated. That is the difference between the two. 
So coming back to that salute, bringing our palms together. Exhaling down to standing prayer, breathing our palms downward at heart center, relaxing those shoulders downward towards the ears. Tummies are nice and tight. Spinal cords nice and long. Our feet are planted and rooted into the earth. May we always be rooted, may we always be grounded, no matter where we are in life. May we always know who we are. May we always stay true to ourselves. May we always stay true to nature. As we hang out here in our standing prayer, four natural breaths. Two more breaths. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. As we breathe our palms above our heads, coming into that salute. Exhale into extended mountain, separating those palms. As we lean our bodies towards the right, coming into that standing side bend here. Gazing up at the heavens, opening up their heart chakra. Tummies tight, three breaths. Exhaling back to center. Standing side bend, opposite side. Gazing up at the heavens. Three breaths. Exhaling back to center, standing crescent moon. I'm sorry, extended mountain. Breathing to our standing salute. Exhale to our standing prayer. Relaxing those shoulders downward. Two breaths. Breathe in. Exhale. Slightly hinging forward. We are in our half forward fold here. We are in our prayer hands. Slightly gazing forward. We are filling this pose behind our legs and our hamstrings. Three breaths. Two breaths. Slightly bending our knees. We're going to come into a chair pose, working the lower parts of our bodies, extending our arms in front of us if that feels good. Three breaths. Two breaths. We're going to do a bonus. Two more breaths. Breathing our palms inward, coming into that chair. I'm sorry, coming into that prayer hands. As we twist our bodies towards the right. Three breaths. Exhale into center. Twist the body towards the left. Chair pose twist. Opposite side. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center. Two breaths. As we breathe, complete forward fold. Relaxing that head down. <sighs> breathe in. Exhale. Two more breaths. Exhale into half. Flowing back up to our Tadasana, our mountain pose. Breathing to our salute. Exhale into prayer. Flowing to our half forward fold. Breathing to our complete forward fold. Walking our heels forward, coming into that down dog, gazing at our feet. Shifting our weight forward, coming into that high plank. As we exhale down, coming into that high plank, as we exhale down to our low plank. Breathing to our cobra or our baby cobra, whatever feels good for you. <sighs> Exhaling to cobra if it was in that baby. Blowing to our up dog, coming off those thighs. Exhale, down dog. Walking our feet to our hands, complete forward fold. Three breaths. Exhale, 
Exhale in half forward. Breathing to our mountain pose, our Tadasana, palms are at our side. As we flow to our salute. <sighs> Exhale the prayer. Flow into our half forward fold. Breathing to that complete forward fold. Walking our hands forward, coming into that down dog. Shifting our weight forward, coming into that high plank, building strength, tummies are tight. We're gonna hold this high plank, three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling down to low plank or chaturanga, hovering over the yoga mat. Exhale onto our tummies. We're gonna flow into a Sphinx pose. We are in our Sphinx, we are on our tummies, we are on our forearms. <sighs> Relax a little soothing that body here. This is a slight back thing. Shoulders relaxed away from the ears. We don't want to be shrunk down with here. We want to have control of that body, working on that posture. Here in the Sphinx pose, may we take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. As we hang out here in silent meditation for three natural breaths. As we flow down into a sleep position, we're gonna cross our arms in front of us with our palms stacked on top of each other, allowing our chin, our cheeks, or our forehead to relax on our palms with our shoulder blades melts forward. Four breaths. Feeling the body relaxing and soothing here. Two more breaths. Slowly coming out of that sleep pose, we're gonna come back into that baby cobra, pressing our torso slightly away from the earth. Just for a second, working on this slight back bend. Coming to that cobra, straightening out those elbows. Noticing in our cobra, our elbows are straight. In our baby cobra, our elbows are bent. Flowing back down to our Spanx pose. Just for a second, if all feels well here in our Spanx, we're gonna breathe our arms forward, coming into a Superman, Supergirl. Breathing those arms, or swimming those arms forward, thighs, feet are off the earth. And maybe we can act like we are flying, if that feels good. Four breaths. We can stay still if that feels good for us. Two more breaths. As we swim our hands towards the back, coming into a locust pose, palms are up towards the heavens. Our feet, our thighs are still slightly off the earth. Four breaths. This is a slight back bend. Two more breaths. Hanging out in this pose, holding this pose, we're gonna relax down. We're coming into a sleeping locust. Allowing the shoulder blades to melt forward, allowing that third eye chakra to relax onto the earth. Four breaths. As we slowly awaken from that sleep, uh, from that sleeping locust, lifting our legs up, lifting our arms up, we are back in that locust pose, feeling that slight back bend. Two breaths. As we flow into our bow pose or half bow, connecting the right hand to the right ankle, then the left hand to the left ankle, if that feels good. So we can be in our half bow, we can be in our full bow pose. This is a deeper back bend. Four breaths. <laughs> Two more breaths. <sighs> Exhale. 
exhaling back down to a locust pose, coming into a sleeping locust. Three breaths. <sighs> Swimming our hands forward, coming into that Superman, Supergirl. Two breaths. Exhale into a baby cobra, bringing our palms towards our torso, slightly lifting that torso away from the earth. Elbows are bent. Two breaths. Exhale into cobra, straightening out those elbows, allowing that head to relax between the shoulder blades. Exhale up dog, taking those thighs off the earth. Chin is upwards, heads relaxed between the shoulder blades. Two breaths. Exhale, down dog. Dropping down to our dolphin, coming onto our forearms, buttocks is high in the air, allowing that head to relax towards the back. Four breaths. Maybe walking those feet towards the torso, noticing how that buttocks comes higher in the air. Two more breaths, dolphin pose. Dropping down to our knees, keeping our thighs slightly together. We're gonna come into a puppy pose. Buttocks is high in the air, butt chakra, torso comes down towards the earth. Arms are extended in front of us with our palms flat on the earth. Third eye chakra, our forehead connects to the earth. Shoulder blades relaxes forward, puppy pose, five breaths. Maybe we can flow into a puppy pose prayer hands by bringing our palms together over our head. Three more breaths. Flowing into that extended puppy pose, if we were not already there, palms in front of us, flat on the earth. As we spinal wave the body out of that puppy pose. Two more breaths. Crossing our feet at our ankles, coming into a seated position. Just for a second, we're gonna float onto our backs, bringing our knees into our chest, hugging our knees into our chest, relaxing and soothing here. Breathe in. Exhale. Allowing those knees to flow towards the left. We are in that required spinal twist. Noticing how this feels here in our spine as we extend that right arm out to the side like a T. Gazing up at the heavens or gazing over that right shoulder. <sighs> Relaxing and soothing here. And if we choose, this is an option, we can take that right leg and straighten out that right leg here. Fill in that stretch a little deeper. It's a choice, we don't have to do it. As we relax and soothe here, four more breaths. Exhaling back to center, hugging the knees into the chest. Breathe in. Exhale. Recline spinal twist, opposite side. Knees fall towards the right. Left arm goes out to the side like a T as we gaze up at the heaven. Or gaze over that left shoulder. Noticing how this spinal twist feels within our bodies. 
And if we choose, we can take that top leg and stretch it out, bring it out towards the side. If we choose, as we relax and soothe here, four more breaths. Exhaling back to center, hugging our knees into our chest. As we breathe our legs up in the air, leg on a wall pose, pointing our feet towards the heavens, we are in that plantar flex, pointing those toes upwards towards the heavens, feeling that plantar flex. As we reach our hands downward to the lower parts of our legs, we're going to breathe our legs towards our torso. Buttocks come slightly off the earth. This is a full body stretch. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling those legs up in the air, legs on the wall. Breathing our knees in towards our chest as we come into a happy baby. Bringing our feet up in the air. Hands between the thighs, bringing our hands outward and connecting our hands to our feet. Happy baby. Yes. Our spinal cord is completely connected to the earth. This is a relaxing and soothing pose here. It's also a hip opener. And if we choose, this is an option. We can rock our bodies from side to side. Noticing how the earth relaxes and soothes the spine. Or we can stay still. We can also work on the shoulder press by bringing our leg over our shoulder and then doing the opposite leg. Of course, this shoulder press flows into a pretzel pose. Whatever you decide to do, we're going to freestyle in our happy baby for five natural breaths. Three more breaths. Exhale, extending our legs up in the air, legs on the wall. Planting those toes upwards towards the heavens. Breathing our knees into our chest. Planting our feet flat on the floor, knees are in the air. We're going to work on a bridge pose here. Placing our palms next to our buttocks. Palms are flat on the earth next to our buttocks. Feet are flat on the earth. Knees are in the air. As we lift our buttocks up. Noticing how we feel this here in our gluteus maximus. This is lift, lifting and rounding our buttocks here. So we can pulse our body up if that feels good. We can stay still. We can go deeper and higher in our bridge by bringing our hands underneath our buttocks and interlacing our fingers and walking our shoulder blades towards our spinal cord. Noticing how our heart chakra comes higher and our hips come higher. We are deeper in that bridge, working at gluteus maximus just a little bit more. And we're going to freestyle here. We can pulse it up and down or we can stay still or do both for eight breaths. Five breaths. Three breaths. Two breaths. We're going to do a bonus here. Three more breaths, pulsing it up, filling that burn. Working on the buns of skill here. Two more breaths. Holding it up, finding that pause. Nice and tight gluteus maximus here. Feeling that burn. 
squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Two more breaths. Exhale, relaxing the body down, bringing those knees into the chest, hugging the knees into the chest, feeling this relaxing pose. Extending those legs up in the air, legs on the wall, reaching downward to the lower parts of our legs as we breathe our legs towards our torso, buttocks come slightly off the earth. Exhale back up to legs on the wall, breathing our knees inward. As we relax our legs, coming into a shavasana, legs are parallel, side by side here. The sides of our feet are connected. As we allow our feet to fall towards the side, this allows our legs to completely relax. Shoulder blades are melted into the earth. Eyes are closed for days down. We are going in with you, soothing the body. As we hang out in silent meditation for seven natural breaths. Four more breaths. As we roll onto our side, coming into a fetus pose, a fetal pose, maybe keeping our eyes closed or gaze down if that feels good for us. Three more breaths. And now when that body to relax the unfetus. Two more breaths. Uh, as we slowly wiggle our toes and rotate our ankles, maybe moving our bodies at our hips. We're going to use this top hand to push our bodies up, coming from that sleeping pose, coming into a seated position. Now we're going to come into a house face leg. Can you find any seating position that feels good for you? <sighs> Ensuring that our tummies are nice and tight here. Spinal cords are nice and long. Shoulders are melted downward away from our ears. Eyes are gazed down or closed. As we breathe in, exhale. Finding our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer. As we use this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we find time for self. And I would like to thank you so much for allowing me to practice self-care with you here today. For it truly, truly is a blessing. The light of me sees, appreciates, and respects the light you all. Namaste.